and welcome. I'm Zinder. It's been a while since the last episode. Uh, yeah, so the job didn't turn out well. Let's put it this way. 5'10", 155 pounds, stacking lumber. Not a good idea. I did, however, get enough to get a paycheck that I just got today from... Like, I, I'm i not working. It's just way too painful to me now. But I made enough that I bought some stuff on APB and then uh, got uh eight core processor that I just ordered. So that'll be here in a few days. But uh, in the meantime, I redid the floating island. So it's got a black sky. I tried to make it black sun, but it wouldn't do it. So whatever. But uh, I was going to take a flint and steel. Oh, and I got a different headset, so if the mic sounds like shit, I apologize, and I have a solution for that in the future. Well, not in the future, it's just, I'm going to see how this goes. And worst case scenario, I'll go back to my other headset for recording. But, uh, I don't want these trees here, and I really don't care about the animals. And I've got, ooh, I don't have a spare linking book. Uh, how about we just pick this guy up? For now, just in case. And uh, I want to see what happens if I Wrath Igniter this place. Uh, this will turn into cobble, I, I know for sure. And this fire has a bad habit of becoming invisible. Hmm. I'm wondering if it's actually, holy shit, is it spreading quick. Very good. I wonder what it does to grass. That looks really weird how stuff is just vanishing. Yes, very good, very good. I wonder if there's an easy way. Ooh. Apparently, despite no caves being listed, it doesn't spawn any. Also, it's to prevent water falling infinitely into the void, even though it would look really cool. I'm going to plug these in. As for the, uh, all those ores and stuff that I got smelting last time, they're, they're like all done. All of them. Man, is it ever dark down here. Okay, how goes progress? Hmm. It didn't get all of it. Oh, there goes that Wrath Igniter. Ow. Fire. It burns. Hmm. Well then. I was trying to think about what I could actually do with a floating island. So if anybody wants to give me an idea on that, I would be quite pleased. I was actually thinking about essentially building it sort of kind of like a void world, like ripping down the entire island, or maybe I'll just flatten it. I don't know. I haven't decided any good ideas yet. I've kind of felt like even though I put all that work into the mountain... I'd rather move here, just because the Endermen are becoming a problem. And it's really getting kind of irritating at this point. Guess we can put the lectern back down, or bookshelf. 
Uh, it's a notebook. Anyhow. Uh, so, the other floating island book is in here. But, uh... Basically, I should bring one of these with me just in case. But if we go over here and have a look, you'll see I've got a lot of resources. And I just started a cycle of my uh, quarry. So things are coming in. I've got cobblestone to set to be ejected, but nothing else because I had like almost 40,000 cobblestone, which is a bit excessive. Got a lot of zycorium. You can tell all the ores are pretty much gone aside whatever's building up now. And apparently this is doing... Well, that's doing... That's quite a bit of copper. I've already got quite a bit of copper, too. But, uh... Yeah, the cave is kind of big, and... You can see it has some weird loading issues occasionally. The biggest thing is, is if I bring up the map... What is the zoom key? That is not the zoom key. Key config? Zoom... Zoom... Toggle zoom. Add on the numpad. Okay. Look what the Endermen have done to my poor mountain. Like, I can't even believe that. I, it's, it's just getting excessive. So I've considered just moving the entire place into there. But uh, I don't think I ever got the crystals. Technically, crystals are a feature. Level egg strongholds. Oh, crystals. Sweet. Uh, how do I want to do this? This is my mining world. Yeah, why not? That'll be the easiest way. I'm going to need more ink. Do I have any more empty bottles? Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. I'm pretty sure there's none in here. Oh yeah, I've got way too much sticky resin. I chopped down the entirety of this tree farm. I don't remember if that was last time or this time or whatever, but I got rid of it just because I was sick of it being there. Is there a fire still going in there? Yes, it is. Hmm. But, uh, do I have glass bottles anywhere? No. Okay. I forget what the recipe for the ink bottle is. Ink is... No, that's scribing tools. What? I shouldn't need to do that. The fuck? Hmm. That's extremely inconvenient. How do I get the black ink? Hello? Can I just... put... Hmm... Where are the ink sacks, anyhow? You know, I've probably already seen them. Probably right there. I don't know how to make this. Because I am apparently terrible. Let's see. Put it in here. No. 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 No? Hmm. Can I... Magma. Crucible. Cool. That's enough to make one bottle. Or is it? What? Ink vial. 
Oh, what the hell? 1,000 buckets. Black ink. That is... That should be black ink. Am I doing something wrong? Hmm... That is really weird. Why is that? Huh. Okay. Well. I will figure that out later. In the meantime. That was all of my ink sacks. God damn it. Do 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 do. Clearly experienced. Clearly an event filled episode. What? <sighs> what a moron. Wonders why he can't make ink vials. Completely skips a section of the recipe. Good job. Okay, now, back to what I was doing before I got distracted. Mining world, wasteland, single biome, flat, standard, noon, zero, normal, low weather, dark moon, dark stars, clear modifier. And yes, I know I'm going to have to rearrange this afterwards, but it will be okay. Uh, crystals. Uh, whoops. Give me notebook. Okay. Go. Oh, go. Crystals. Because that... What? Oh, oh there we go. Um... That's the end. I'm going to want another book. Probably a couple of lecterns. Not lecterns. The other things. Book stands. One, two. I... Oh, crap. I keep on placing torches. And I don't mean to. Okay. There we go. And crystals. Oh, it was already on my bar. Barg. Blarg. So, the headset I got for ten dollars, it's uh it's circum ear, and it's really weird hearing myself. If that makes sense. Or not being able to really hear myself. And I'm not used to it. You're probably wondering why I'm getting all these crystals if you know nothing about Mistcraft, but that's okay. Hmm. I've never mentioned I absolutely hate the glass breaking noise a lot. Is in a lot, a lot. Okay. There we go. So, uh, yeah, Borderlands episode. It's episodes. Uh, unfortunately, they're going to be slightly delayed because uh, I have one more that'll probably be uploaded at the same relative time as this video. And that's it. I, there's none left at the moment because uh, Nade went somewhere. He, we haven't seen him in a little bit, so we're kind of waiting on him. Hmm. I 
think I have most of those, or all of those. Anyhow, the 8-core processor is going to be fun when I get it, because, in case you don't know, my current processor, if you look at my YouTube page, I have it up there, it is an AMD Phenom 2 X4 uh, 955 Black Edition. It's 3.2 gigahertz per core, and it has four cores. The one that I ordered is an AMD FX 8350, I believe. It's an 8-core, and it has uh, 4 gigahertz per core. So, uh, basically, it's a major improvement over what I have right now. You, not R. Book receptacle. Eight of them with each other. Like this. So this thing's cool. I like crystals. Uh, where can we put this for the moment? Let's just put it here. These can be of pretty much any size and shape. Aside from the fact that you kind of... Actually, I don't even know if you actually really need a way in. And the book receptacle can be anywhere on it. You can even extend off like this. To place it. But, uh... What I'm going to do... Is... What is a good one to pick? Let's, let's grab this floating island. I'm going to put this notebook away. That's how I ended up with a regular book. Alright, from in the place. And go! Hello? I did something wrong, didn't I? Hmm... Hmm. Do I need a source of power? Uh, levers... Here, screw it, let's try a button. No, you can't even place a button on that. Okay, what have I clearly done wrong here? Maybe it does need to be at least a certain size, and that's my problem. Yep. No? No, just didn't like that. Hmm. But, uh, as you can see, it is quite literally a portal. And I don't know if I can do ones to the same world, so let's just grab one of these. I know normally linking books can't, but I'm not sure if crystals bypass that. No, they don't. And I believe the linking stand was completely removed. Well, not completely removed, but I don't know if they ever added a way back in. Because you see there's the link modifier here, but it doesn't do anything. Interesting stuff. But A link book spawner? What the hell is that craziness? But, uh, portals are cool. As you can see. It also means that I could technically set up a portal to anywhere I wanted in the nether in multiple places and cool stuff like that. So, what am I doing? I've got these crystals now and I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so I'm going to put them... I'll put them over here. Easy enough to find there. Cracked sand. But, uh... Yeah. And this is... I think this is running okay for now. Uh, this whole entire setup is kind of a pain to keep track of, though. And I'm t thinking about making a... Basically a lava world, so that way I have to... I don't have to worry about my nether lava ever really running out. 
because it's actually getting quite drained, especially after smelting all those ores. As you will see here in a minute. This may look perfectly normal, but uh, it's actually gone down quite a few levels, especially like over here. Where it's... Oh no, there's still plenty of lava here. Never mind. False alarm. Okay. I don't really have, like I said, really anything planned. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure what to do at the moment, to be honest. And I don't want to do anything too long because I haven't really started doing anything at the moment. So, uh oh. So, I honestly don't know about that at the moment. I need a, just a general, like, house design a way to spruce this up, or a way to build the floating island, or s just something. I'm not sure where spawn is. I think it's somewhere over here. I suppose I could make a compass. Or I could just leave this gigantic place and put the portal in the center. Hmm. I could. Tend to defeat the purpose of having made this whole place. So I'm going to let you guys, if anybody decides to comment. They tend to get views, but nobody likes to comment. So I'm asking you right now, do you want me to continue working on this place, or should we just build something entirely new in the floating world? and what you want me to do there if you have any preference um... yeah but other than that I don't really have a whole lot planned this is, this is sort of like an update episode I still have no idea why that redstone is there so it was just to let you know that uh, the things with the job hadn't turned out terribly well. It, it's been pretty much a week since I stopped working there, and my left leg is still very, very painful. So, yeah. And this isn't drawing as bad of power as it looks like it is, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Also, uh, for the floating island, I did have an idea of trying to make it look like it was a spaceship. But, that sounds extremely cheesy. So, I don't know. Do I still have both these chickens over here? Or... Oh. Flying is hard. There's three chickens. And... Yeah. I guess that's good for now. This is also a test of the microphone, so I don't want to do anything too important either. So if it sounds like absolute shit, uh, well, I'll be checking it myself. But you can also give me your own opinions. And so I don't want anything to do too important, so that way if it's a little hard to listen to, because it's painful or something, uh, you're not missing anything. So, uh, I'm going to call this good for now. That's where that book went. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.